Hey guys, it's me, Ren, and welcome to another tablet review. And so for today's video, we'll be doing another unboxing and review video. And yes, I am aware that this is the second tablet review video this week. Anyways, the lovely people over at Vape contacted me again to do another tablet review on different tablet, which I've been hoping to test out, which is the Vape A15 battery free pen tablet. As soon as they mentioned the store where the product is, it was in Lazada. So I said yes. And boy, let me tell you. For its size, it's very cheap. In Philippine currency, it's about 1879 I couldn't believe it myself either. It's cheaper than my first tablet, the Huion H640P. But man, this one is almost the size as my current tablet, the Huion H1060. Not to mention, shipping was quite fast, so I didn't have to wait long for this tablet to arrive for me to review on. Also, don't worry, every store that they're selling online will be linked in the description down below. The packaging was neatly packed. I already opened this cardboard ahead because my sister wouldn't stop bugging me to see what's inside. So here it is, the Vake A15 battery free pen tablet. I expected it to be smaller than this but wow it's quite bigger in comparison to my hand. So let's open this up and see what's inside. The first thing we see here is the glove and underneath it is the tablet inside the plastic and it's well sealed and it's very light. As we take out the tablet, we see the paper disc driver, then the C port USB cable. It's not the universal USB cable, which I was quite surprised So, because I got used to tablets having universal USB cables. So once we got that out, here we have the battery free pen inside its pouch or it, as the website says, its pen pocket. Its design is quite different from the previous baked tablet that I got. This one has a rubber-ish tip at the top. Maybe it works as an eraser but we'll just see about that. Then I was wondering where the extra nibs and the nib removal tool was and as I shook the box it was hidden inside where the universal USB cable was placed. That's an odd place to store but nonetheless it's still in good condition. So the key like thing is the nib remover that I was surprised to see so many nibs like about 20 of these. This is a lot for a company to add in but I ain't complaining. Here we have the guide that we won't be reading unless it's necessary. So I tried to shake the box again to see if there was anything else, but there's nothing else hidden inside, so let's get the tablet out of the plastic. Nani? Jesus Christ, this almost gave me a freaking heart attack. For a minute there, I thought they sent me a defective product, but it was just a plastic protector, so oof. Um, anyways, this ain't gonna be satisfying when I peel this off, so I'm sorry in advance. With that out of the way, you can see that it's quite well made, and I'm loving the gold ring on it, And but sadly, it has no functions, it's just there for display, but I still like it. So it has 12 functioning customizable express keys, which is very convenient for shortcuts. As always, I do a quick fingerprint test and it does leave fingerprints behind, especially that I have sweaty hands, but I'm glad they provided a glove so the surface wouldn't look messy from all the sweat. So these are what to expect on the contents or what you'll get when you purchase this product. With that in mind, let's head straight on downloading the driver and get things working and see how it performs. Let's download the driver on their website, which is quick and easy because their driver isn't separated per model, which is, for me, convenient. And also make sure you deleted your previous driver from a different tablet. In my case, I already deleted the Huion drivers ahead before installing the driver for Vake. Actually, the people who contacted me ahead were very helpful in giving me tips on what to do with the driver, which I really appreciated. After installing and launching everything, let's check the interface of the driver. So technically, this driver detects what model you're using instantly and will adjust accordingly, which I find it very impressive. It also has a left-handed mode for lefties out there, and with that in mind, I'ma start adjusting the pen pressure and adding my typical shortcuts on the express keys. All depends on the user. For me, I always use undo and color picker on the pen, then the rest of the shortcuts are on the keys. Once everything is done, let's test it out with some art. Today, I'll be painting Toga from Boku no Hero Academia.
I'm very impressed on its responsiveness, which it did emphasize a lot on their website, so they're really sticking to their word. I did have a few issues on the tablet, or I'm just being a dumbass, but before that, let's start with the pros. So pros and cons. It has a smudge guard. I like its simplistic design and the huge work area where my hand can rest comfortably. The surface is smooth. The buttons function flawlessly. It's very lightweight and a great tablet when traveling because it doesn't keep too much space inside. It can cater to both right and left handed users. It's very responsive and the pen pressure works perfectly. And I did mention it's cheaper than Wacom's and other graphic tablets of its size. Anyways, it's a budget-friendly and convenient tablet for beginners and it can even be used professionally. Remember, it's not the graphic tablet who's doing the work, but it's all on you. So now let's move on to the cons! This was very frustrating, but it was just a minor mishap. What happened was I thought the tablet was not working because it did not respond to the pen, but it was easily fixed when I adjusted the tablet in the flat surface of my desk. As you can see, my desk is slanted, no wonder it did not respond. I had no problem with this issue with other tablets, so this is quite a first for me. I don't know if this is a con, but remember when I said about the top part of the pen was an eraser? It, it wasn't. It wasn't an eraser. It didn't function at all. So um, it's not an eraser. Um, I guess my last con is it leaves fingerprints behind, but that's just nitpicking or some sort, but it's just my preference. I guess that's all the cons I can think of. So overall, the tablet, it's in really good quality. It's great for beginners and professionals. And if you wish to get one of these, all links of their stores are in the description down below. So do check those out. Okay, so if you saw my tweet or posts on YouTube, I mentioned that I might do a giveaway again, but this time, this will be an art contest, so show me what you got and get a chance to win this Vic A15 graphic tablet for free. Um, but here's the catch. This contest is exclusively for locals or anyone who are living in the Philippines. Because for once in my life, I want to give this tablet to one of my lovely local aspiring artists out there. And hopefully you can use this to enhance further into your passion because I know what it's like when I couldn't even get my own tablet back then and no one even supported me. <laughs> so, um. so what's the theme, I hear you ask? Well, the theme, my guy, is express yourself. Basically, the point of this theme is just self-expression. Um, just make something that you're proud of or or make make me see that it's who you are or what makes you as a person or basically what makes you happy so yeah just a simple concept i just thought of immediately when i thought about this little contest the contest will be held on my facebook page only link in the description below i'll be sharing your entries there and make sure you use the hashtag SR art contest. That's the only hashtag I can use so I can keep track of everyone's entries. You are allowed to only submit one artwork, so any medium is welcome. If you're wondering, I don't care if it's drawn on the wall, on the cardboard, or heck, even a potato go nuts, man. I'd just be creative. So there will be only one winner for this contest or who will receive the tablet and also I'll be picking two to three honorable mentions which will win special merch prizes. So the deadline is June 28th at 10 p.m. Before I end this video, thanks to Vic for giving me the chance to review one of their tablets again which always impresses me thus far. Please do follow their Twitter which are linked in the description down below for any further future models or products they're gonna be advertising which will cater to your budget or maybe you find fancy so anyways good luck to everyone and may the odds be ever in your favor <laughs>